really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. And Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. New subscribers, thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice. Ah! <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> we need to go back, okay? Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the family. I do appreciate you. Please feel at home. And of course, my returning subscribers, as always, thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice you do to me on this specific channel. I do not and will never ever take you for granted even one bit. I want to be quick and fast, okay? Quick and fast because Alex... Why not Alex, the former employee of Marwa, <clears throat> who was humiliated, demeaned right here on the street, on my screen, has finally come to talk and expose, okay? Say how things were until up to where he was sent packing, okay? Now, I was looking at Ernest and Ernest came out to say that he was sent home, he was sent packing at night. And my only question was why? Why would you fire someone in the dark? For what? Then Alex is coming to say that he was only given two dollars, approximately two dollars, to go home. That was his fare. Go home. Get out of my compound. We even saw, I did that in the lives I did in the last one day, okay? And we saw Marat saying that he doesn't want to see Alex next to his house anymore. In short, he was banned, okay? So Alex has come out to say that he used to overwork. He went as a guard, security, a soldier. But he, <laughs> he found all these other general duties in there from cows to goats to I don't know guinea fowls to rabbits and all these shenanigans keeping the compound clean so on and so forth I saw him put barbed wire okay right at the back next to the clay bath where Marwa the late Jamaican granny and Rocio mom were jumping over into the backyard into their compound some months back he was on there putting barbed wire. He's an all-rounder. Anything that was to be done in that place, he was doing, okay? Now, he came out to say one thing that I was really hoping and waiting for him to spit. And this was that he has not been paid for the last two months. Two solid months, guys. Whole of January, this month, February, he's not been paid. Not even a cent. And you guys will want me to sit back. You will want me to come here and say it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Congress Dad said an employee should do everything and anything the employer says. And I was here to ask, is the employer being fair to the employee? Because you will not be mistreating your employee and expect them to be respecting you in return. We've said a million times, guys, respect is two-way traffic, period. Period. Hello. <laughs> Maros positive reactors. I see that you're coming back to reaction. Well and good. Pick up this story and run with it. PA, call your boss and tell him to pay Alex his January salary, February salary. Let me see how you're going to do it because you came yapping on the street. <laughs> Content is not your mate, guys. <laughs> Content is not vegetable. They've tried everything. Eventually, they're coming back to reaction. Reaction will continue. The negative ones didn't move. <laughs> We've been put. We've been checking out the street and reacting on a daily basis. Now, you guys are coming back because you noticed, oh, reaction. <laughs> Let's go back to our niches. Didn't your boss tell you to stop reaction and do other things? <laughs> yeah, positive reactors indeed. Welcome. Welcome back to reaction. Now, pick up on this issue. PA, come out and tell us why. Huh? You are on this guy's neck, on Alex's neck. For what purpose? Alex has not been paid for the last two months. Why hasn't Alex been paid for the last two months? Marwa, why have you not paid Alex for the last two months? 
I'm going to be playing you the clips because he came out to the live and he was talking and he said he'll be showing us his house today. If not today, maybe tomorrow. His phone has a problem, blah, 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 but he's going to be putting how far the construction has come. I was really shocked when he came out to say that Marwa by himself told him that people have sent money to assist in buying him a bed, mattress, blankets, name them. And he was not given even a cent, but was thrown two dollars. Go back where you're coming from. And the distance and the cost from Maros to his place is about seven, eight dollars. He was given two dollars, told Vamus. I was like, what sort of nonsense, guys, is this? I will not sit back and let it pass. No, if I have to talk about Alex the whole week, guys, I'm going to be talking about Alex because this is absolutely madness, nonsense, stupidity of the highest order. You want your employees to respect you. You are not respecting your employees, treating them like trash, calling them names on camera, overworking them. And at the end of the day, you don't pay them and you expect of them to respect you. Personally, I'd be tired. I'd be like, to hell with this. Why am I here? If I have to throw tantrums, then let me throw the tantrums and then I'm kicked out because it is what it is, guys. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it needs to be exposed, then let us expose it. You will not have someone work for you and you kick them out of your compound with only two dollars two <laughs> two dollars <laughs> two dollars send them parking leave my compound and you are right here on the street asking for money to construct his house asking for money to buy a bed if you want to help Alex in buying a bed, in buying a mattress, in buying blah, 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 people send you money for Alex's project and you fail to give him his money and you fail to pay him for two months and you kick him out in the dark. What a shame. What a shame. Now, I want us to be playing some receipts, okay? Because I'm not here to speak from the blues. Alex has come to explain himself. Let us listen to what he said before we come back, just analyze, move to the next thing, and we call it a day. I'm so mad, guys. I don't want to be here for so long. <laughs> I don't want to lie, okay? I just don't want to be here for so long. Receipts first, then we come back. Did you receive enough money to complete your house? Did you receive enough money to complete your house? No, my friend, even, you know, my, after, my, my, my boss told me to put in my, the masonry who could, who, who could, 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 and uh, for those eight thousand, two one was costing four hundred four thousand and the four thousand and he gave me eight thousand. That's for two. Okay, people are saying those. I'm an answer will help. Thank you. You know mm. those that guy mm. he has asked me that he, whether I have money to complete all those things. Yeah. My boss he told me that he has sent he has sent there is some people they have sent for him money mm. for me that's for buying beds and the mattress, mattress yeah. and also Blanket, those yeah. but he when he chased him away he didn't give me give me even a shilling he only the time when i came with him at my home he gave me he left me he gave me there eight thousand that's for two doors and he said he he going go he he he's going to make for me five doors and already he paid two dollars Two doors, he remained three, three doors. Now, on Nippon Africa, he says, so, he he to, give me he says uh, maybe you can call Marwa and ask him to send the money as you to continue working on your house. 
Maybe that's good because he told me that he has my money and when he chased me away, he didn't give me even a shilling, even my, my even my salary. More especially, I'm not, I'm not crying for my salary because that was my right to give, to get, to pay me because I worked. And I worked a lot there. I was as a cutie that day and night. And also I do other general duties. Yeah, you know, I feel painful. And how many, of, of and, uh, and how many or, years or months you went there? Uh, the months which I have worked yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I started working there uh, April. April. Yeah. This, this year? Uh, no, last year. Last year? Last year. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. I, I was almost finished. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I went to hostel, it's only they refer me to go and for x lay but because he, you know my boss in Shuari, one god he chased me without paying me he only gave me 300 shillings and they i didn't pick that money 300 and shillings for what for fair or for, for treatment for, for fair not for, not, for not fair, <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. imagine imagine okay, okay. imagine 300 shillings it's one not, god not for he gave me 300 shillings not for treatment. and that one 300 shillings it could not even take me to my home where i'm coming from and also the time where i came with him at my home he normally paid that for the border 1000 and to, and that day he gave me 300 i saw this at the row I... mm -hmm. hey alex and the and and the chat yeah that was too much work for i one person don't call him there he should pay you the moment he think about dismissing you i'm not a reactor it's only that i'm trying to explain it the i'm trying to explain the real reality the reality the reality yeah, most people have this i'm going to show you the, the progress of my house so alex came out to say that the day he was being yelled at he was genuinely not feeling well and even says that if only the ones on the ground could speak, if they could speak, then they would attest and come out and say that he indeed was not feeling well. I saw guys throw him under the bus, Mawira, and you guys out there who are saying that he's pretending. <laughs> you guys said that he was pretending, okay? But in reality, guys, just like he says, he says he was not feeling well. He was asked, did you go to hospital? He said, yes, he did. Just a general one. And then he was sent for an x-ray, which he could not afford because he has not been paid for the last two months. Then Mara will come here and tell us that, oh, now wait, you see him pretending, saying that he's not feeling well. If someone is not feeling well, then they are not feeling well. If someone is requesting for an off, two hours rest, it could even be 30 minutes rest, give them. I was really perturbed by what Mara said. He came out here trashing Alex, saying that he is doing nothing. He doesn't have work in that compound. And he was spelling out what he's supposed to do during the day. <laughs> and I'm looking at him talk about chores throughout the day. And again, jump in and say, and he was my security guy at night. Do the other employees in that compound work 24-7? No. Absolutely not. Manager, assistant manager, 8 to 5, they are gone. Assistant sleeps in Villa Medellin. Manager goes to her home. Alex has been working the whole day. And again at night he's securing this place. Like are we <laughs> guys, are we mad? <laughs> are we mad? There are some stupid arguments on the street. Oh, you guys only watch one hour of the video. How do you know what Alex does? It's evident. You don't have to be shown 24 hours of what someone does. You absolutely know. Mara has spelled out a million times. Wash the cows when you finish. Wash the horses when you finish. Do this when you finish. He's fencing the back wall after he finishes. He's sweeping after he finishes. He's running around with the rabbits, with the guinea fowls, putting them back, feeding them, going to fetch water to give the animals, tie the animals outside the compound for grazing. Hello. If that does not sound like a lot of work, and apart from that, 
not sleeping at night because you need to be guarding your boss who cannot afford a security company to be doing this work for them and pay them. And this one person, Alex, is an all-rounder. 24 hours the clock. He sleeps, he needs to wake up early because Mara wants his cows outside grazing by 9 a.m. When do you sleep? When do you rest? And he's <laughs> he will still take you guys. Take you to the roof, Alex. Tell you to be working there full day simply because you said you're not feeling well. You need to rest. You are tired. And on top of that, the icing on the cake, he has not paid you for two whole months. I'd be mad. I'd grow horns. <laughs> you need to respect your boss. F that. Shh, I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. Mama has a lot of ticks. Today's video is proudly sponsored by fresh ticks with rice and beans from Villa Medellin. Let me check these ticks somewhere. Ticks are all natural, organic, and harvested from mules, horses, and cows. Very delicious, brother. Oh my god. So good. It feels really good to, to be at Ayamaro Villa. It's rice, beans. Yeah, they are laughing. Yeah. We need more. Uh, maybe I should train these birds to be eating these sticks. I street, even I think they forgot. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm not doing that, guys. It is what it is, okay? Marwa. <laughs> Marwa. Hashtag justice for Alex. Give Alex all the money that was donated for his project. I do understand, yes, when they were there, he was to do the doors and I think windows. He had pledged to do those. Okay? And then Alex will finish up the walls and all this mud and animal waste. Mix it with water, plaster it on those trees that belong to Alex. <laughs> Who was told that he's not even contributed a dollar to this project. And if I come here and call Marwa a scam, you'll be running mad on the comment section. Oh, 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 oh. What is this? What is this, guys, if it's not scamming? Alex needs to be paid his two months salary. Alex needs to be given the money that was donated by Donatus for his project. Today I'm shouting guys, I don't care, okay? Alex needs to be treated like a human being with dignity. Poor or not. You will not place yourself on top of people's heads 24-7 simply because you are helping them, feeding them, giving them goat, <laughs> and not paying them for the hard work on that roof. That story made me angry. I'm going to be playing you those receipts next, okay? It is what it is. So Mara has decided he's not paying his workers because he's giving them goat. <laughs> 2024. 2024, you guys will be used, beaten blue black. In the name of your working the full day, only to be paid by some pieces of goat. Because how many guys are working on the roof? How much meat comes from the goat? How many pieces will you eat from the goat to equate it to a salary you're supposed to be paid on that day's effort? Let me play with the receipts, guys. Let me play with the receipts. And then we come back, analyze. And then we call it a day. Carefully. Because they are all around. We have everything. We have cables. We need to clear this. We just finished, guys. You can imagine. Look how big these things are. Eight inch. Hmm? Eight inch. So we just did nearly half of the house. 
this was the toughest part here because the water used to come from here all of it going the other side and also this other side here you know so this also is a part and uh, so the boys said I slaughtered them my goats today so that they can enjoy and no payment after the goat has arrived it smells so good mm. Rosia okay. the goat is ready yes the goat is ready why so you imagine give me the hand like this why what could give I do ma'am give me a kiss Oh, it's, or it's like a, I'm your partner. Look, look ma'am, I'm, I'm your sweat, girlfriend. I am sweating. I'm, you, you, you I'm sweating. You me like a stranger. No, like ma'am. Like a visitor. I am sweating, ma'am. Okay, it's okay. Or, Don't worry. Or you okay with everything? Look, guys, I'm sweating. Rosio wants a hug. <laughs> no, I want a wife greeting. <laughs> Okay, man. But I'm sweating. It's okay. Don't I just worry. came from walking. Look, don't worry. Look don't at worry. my hands. Man. I know. I can see your hands. I know. So I imagine need to teach we you. just cooked the goat, and now the boys say they want to eat the goat and they want to be paid. <laughs> I told them if you test my goat, no payment. Yes, let's go. <laughs> now, honestly, that's that's what they said. <laughs> that's what they said. So he bought he bought a goat for eight thousand. Maybe they thought there was a chunk. No, it's them who told me. It's them who told me like today tomorrow. Yeah. If you make if you make a goat, we work for free. Yes, but because that's also very common in Africa in the yeah. village. Yeah. We call it egesanger. Uh huh. You can go to somebody support, do his work. In exchange for food. Yeah. Because honestly, the money that we just bought, a whole goat, we could have used to pay them. Okay, now, you're going now, sir? Sorry? You're going now? Yeah, you've, the food is on our side? Yes. Oh, wow, okay. Let me, let, okay. Let me, let me, let me come. I'm coming in the next two minutes. When I heard Mara say that, I was like, wait, pause. Chill. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> this man will not pay you. For your day's work, he'll be bribing you in there with rice and beans, some soda, an extra bottle of soda if you finish overworking through that day. And now he's giving you pieces of goat meat in place of the salary of the money you're supposed to make on that day. So when you go home, for example, excuse me, you workers on the roof, when you go home, what are you going to eat? What will you eat? Some of you have got children, wives. What do you take home to show for the whole hard work that you have been putting on that roof and that silly helipad <laughs> nonsense? How much money or what do you take home and say, my wife, here is half a dollar, buy things, onions, tomatoes, bread, milk for tomorrow, for the children before they go to school. 2024, modern day slavery. And you cannot voice it out. Just like Alex said, people know what went down, but they will not speak just because they are afraid of what is going to follow. Why do you guys live in fear? Why do you live in fear? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> I'd be fired <laughs> like in the first seven minutes of my employment in Villa Medellin. I don't keep quiet. I know my rights. Alex said it's his right to be paid a salary. Absolutely. So you guys will keep there quiet. You're seeing nonsense, but you're just waiting there to be keeping quiet and then opening your mouth when you get out of that place. Why are you not speaking now? Why are you not speaking now? Anyways, from the clip I picked two things. He's not paying people, he's giving them goat meat in place of their salary for the day. <laughs> Secondly, Rocio mom wants PDA, but when she comes up, he is handshaking her. 
and she's asking why the handshake greet me like your wife what do you want kiss me oh my chest is sweaty what does your chest have to do with anything called a kiss <laughs> What does your chest, sweaty chest, have to do with anything called a kiss? Why are you not kissing Ross, your mom? My hands are dirty. What does your hands have to do with a kiss, which is just lip to lip? <laughs> you should be learning from Vidi Jonah, okay? Vidi Jonah has wedded <laughs> his American wife. <laughs> his American wife finally they've done this wedding that they've been talking 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 about and Rocio mom and Rocio dad were welcomed and then Rocio mom is asking who's going to be next I thought she'd say I'm going to be next <laughs> why are they not wedding <laughs> Vidi Jonah a very small boy has just wedded <laughs> he's a married man now and Rocio mom and Rocio dad are still running around fighting for kisses, pecs, hugs, PDA in Villa Medellin. Guys, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. Now, it's alleged that Mayugno's wife has come back. <laughs> Let me laugh. I've not laughed <laughs> this whole video. It said that Mayugno went home to pick his wife. The only one question I have is, oh, the Nastos and oh, the Sejos, when you came out here to gossip Vivian on the street, what are you going to be telling people now? <laughs> what will you tell people? What are you going to be telling us? You expressed how much you don't like this Vivian. What now will you be telling people right here on the street, seeing as you came out here with full information exposing Mayugno's love life on the street <laughs> on his behalf in the name of views? <laughs> and you guys will come here and call me names. Haters, yes, someone was asking, oh, you opened your channel for Mara? No. I have done very many things <laughs> since I opened this channel, okay? But YouTube will tell me, find your niche and stick to it. And that is what I'm doing right now, which is reaction. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back again for another reaction tomorrow. If you are not subscribed, guys, always know that you are free to do so. And I on trending will most definitely catch you on my next video. If you haven't liked the video, always know that you are free again to like the video. And again, free to turn on your post notification. There's a bell on there. Click on it, select all so that you don't miss my next Next upload which is going to be tomorrow haters we are still here tomorrow <laughs> every day it pains you <laughs> but again you keep watching thank you for the support don't skip ads okay and of course you can leave your comments down below speak your mind <laughs> speak your mind on the comment section and of course I'll see you tomorrow and of course I'm closing now and of course I'm going to be waving you bye bye Go, go.